Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my second episode in my new series called Moms Can Be Hot Too, because we can be hot too. So Julian is five and a half months old. I feel like I've gotten into the swing of things when it comes to getting ready in the morning. I've got my routine down fast, easy, and I think it looks good. I feel confident, put together, Yay. pretty every day. So I'm gonna share with you guys my quick, like five, 10 minute mom makeup routine. So I'm gonna start off with kind of like my quick skincare routine. Usually I do this in my bathroom just really quick in the morning I wash my face. I love to use this little roller because I just feel like it kind of gets your face awake. Like it's really cooling and refreshing. So it helps with de-puffing. So I just do it kind of like all over. And then I like to do a little vitamin C serum. For me, what has really helped to keep my routine fast is making sure I stick to my skincare routine. So I do my lash extensions and I try to keep my skin as clear as possible, as even as possible. And that helps me to just do like as little as ma little makeup as I have to, you know? So some vitamin C serum all over. And a little moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Water Cream. This is great for just like normal to oily skin. It's pretty lightweight. So if you guys are a mom, then you know, you just gotta get ready while your baby's with you. So if you didn't know, whenever I'm filming, Julian's just sitting right here looking at me. Hi. So we just look at each other and if you hear him, that's, he's just playing right there. So anyways, on days where I don't wanna wear makeup, I'm just hanging out at home, I'm not leaving or anything, I just do this. This is the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor. I've used this since it came out. You can get it at Sephora, but I'll link everything. Um, it's just an SPF 50 with a little bit of a tint. So I put this on with my fingers, it's super easy. Evens out your skin tone and it's just great to help you feel polished and have some SPF. But if I'm gonna do some makeup, just like a quick routine, I stick with It Cosmetics, but I use something different. So this is what I've been using. It's the Bye Bye Foundation. I have it in medium tan. There is like that much left. So this is almost gone. And they just recently came out with a new one. This is called the CC Oil Free Matte. So they're pretty similar. They have their CC cream and this is the Bye Bye Foundation. I really love this. It's kind of like a little bit fuller coverage and a little bit less oily than the normal one. So I'm curious to see how I like this one. I've only used it one time and I liked it. So I think I'm gonna start using this one. We'll see just cause I'm already out of that one. I might as well try this one. This one's supposed to be better for oily skin and lately my skin has been pretty oily. So we're gonna try that. In the summer I was medium tan, but now that my tan is going away, I'm just gonna be wearing shade medium. Put this on all over with their brush. And it's just like instant coverage. I hope you guys can see. You just need like the smallest amount and you just instantly get coverage. And that is why I love It Cosmetics. All of their products combine like skincare and makeup in one. So it's great if you are like trying to be fast and get everything done like I am. Two in one products like that are so nice. I just think they're like easy products for like the everyday girl. They're so easy to use. So I really love all their, all their foundations and stuff like that are my favorite. So this one is definitely more of a matte finish, which I like for fall and winter. So I really like this. I think it gives, I would say high medium coverage. Like it's not full. You can still see, you know, like a little bit of your skin or your freckles popping through, which is what I like. I don't like to look like too overly done when I'm just doing like a quick five minute face. So I do that all over, bring it down my neck. Then I do a little concealer. I don't get as much sleep as I used to, so I always have to do a little bit of concealer. This is from NARS, it's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I just do a little under the eyes. This is in the same shade as my foundation, so it's not anything like super brightening, but it just covers up any dark circles. Definitely use it under the brows because I don't get to wax my brows or tweeze them as much as I used to. Anywhere I have any little spots. I'll just use that same brush to quickly blend that out. So I like to make sure my makeup lasts all day. I don't have time for touch-ups or to be in here like messing with my makeup. I like my 10 minutes in and out. So I always set with powder. I usually bake. It doesn't take me any longer than it would just to do normal powder. So I usually use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love it. I think it's so good. But I recently got the Lawless setting powder. So I thought I'd try it out on camera, see if I like it and let you guys know. So I think it comes in two colors. I'm gonna just try the translucent today. I'm gonna use the controlled setting brush from EcoTools. This is my favorite brush for under eye setting. So this has like a peachy tone. I use it to like contour my nose too. I 
Okay, so that is usually how I bake. I just put it kind of in my T-zone where I get shiny, oily, or where I want my makeup to really, really last all day. And then I go over the rest of my face just with like any, you know, foundation powder. I've loved Benefit for years. This one's probably almost gone, yeah. So I use like literally any shade of this. I just love the finish. It's like a nice matte finish, but it just makes your skin look like airbrushed and smooth. So I'll just take a little brush. This one's powder brush from EcoTools and I'll kind of mix it in with that translucent powder and set everywhere else that I haven't yet. So if you guys are new to my channel, I make videos every week on fashion and lifestyle, beauty, a bunch of different topics, but I just started this new series called Moms Can Be Hot Too. Once I became a mom, I just feel like it's so important to still take time for yourself every day. So if you guys are interested in that, please subscribe. Like I said, I make new videos all the time and this series is gonna be really fun. So I have some cooking videos, now some beauty videos. I'm gonna be doing fashion next, so it's gonna be a really good series. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that powder, so I'm just gonna do a little Laura Mercier on top. I'm gonna to keep trying it, but it just feels like it's not as brightening as the Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna do my brows while I let that sit on. I have been using the Hourglass Brow Pencil. This is called just Arch, I think. I have it in Warm Brunette don't love it. I really just don't like the tip of this. I feel like it's too thick. It's kind of hard to use. Like you have to press really hard. So I think I'm going to go back to Benefit. They're precisely my brow. I had an extra one. This is really good. I love all the Benefit brow products. But if I'm really in a hurry, this is something you need to have in your makeup bag. This is Gimme Brow also from Benefit. It's just like a little tinted brow gel. This is so good just to like sweep through your brows real quick if you're in a really big hurry and you need brows the gimme brow. Okay, so I just brush the hairs up and I kind of create a lower line. Like this pencil, you barely have to press and it's just like instant pigmentation. It's so nice and creamy. But also I haven't really been keeping a cap on that one so it could have dried out a lot faster, but I haven't had it for too long. Okay, and then I just fill in the sparse areas. A little bit in front. I've actually really been liking to take it a little bit farther in than normal. Like that. Fill in the tail. Okay, that's it. I don't like a super perfect brow, just something that takes me like 30 seconds for each brow, super quick. So the less perfect, the better. So because I haven't really had time to do my brows, I did want to quickly mention these little things. I get them on Amazon. They're called Tinkle, but they're like little razors. And I actually just use these to clean up like any little hairs. I do it in the morning when I'm like washing my face and stuff, but these are awesome. I'll link them below. You can use them like on your upper lip, in between the brows, wherever, sideburns, anywhere. They are so nice and they make your skin feel like super soft and smooth. So I love these. Give a tip to the man's too. The men can use it too. Michael uses it to like clean up his beard and like keep that line super straight. So they are really handy. I always have like 10 of them on hand. Okay, I'll wipe away the rest of this. I'm gonna do a little bronzer. I'm almost done with this one. It's from Becca. It's called Capri Coast. Look, it's like almost gone. So I do have a new one I'm gonna start using. I think this Laura Mercier one. But if you guys have any recommendations for a good bronzer, let me know. I love this one. I love the Hourglass one. Anything that's like pretty dark that has a little bit of shimmer to it is my favorite. So if you guys have recommendations, let me know because I can barely get like anything out of this one anymore. I don't like to do like a separate contour on like a five minute face routine. Like I just like to do a little bronzer that makes me look tan and does like a tiny bit of contouring, you know, something like super quick, one product. So I do my forehead the sides of my nose, jaw, and cheekbones. I keep it pretty high up on my cheekbones and I only come in to about like my pupil. I don't go too far in here because then I feel like it can just look muddy. And I blend it up. Same brush I'm gonna use for my blush. I am trying out this new one from Laura Mercier. It's called Peach. I love a peachy blush. So this one looks really pretty. And I'll do that right on the apples of my cheekbones and blend it into the bronzer. 
I think a pop of blush can really make you look fresh and awake and put together. So I always try to do a little bit of blush, but if I don't have time, I'll just take the bronzer onto my cheekbones. Or onto the apples of my cheeks, I guess, just to give a little color there. Okay, I am actually gonna take a little bit of this bronzer through my crease. It smells really good. It smells like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It has like a coconut smell to it. It's called Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder. So I'm just gonna do a little through my crease. I don't normally do shadow, but this just kind of helps make the whole look come together. I'll do it through my crease like this and then I'll blend outwards and upwards just to kind of lift my eye. I always have to do highlighter. I just really like it. So this one is so good. It's a little palette from Alexa Persico. It's called Brighten Me Baby. And it has three really pretty shades in there. I love this one. I was in my friend's wedding a couple weeks ago and I used it on everybody like on their shoulders, on their collarbone. It looks so pretty. Okay, and then I just brush my lashes out. So you guys can definitely do obviously whatever you want, but if I have 10 minutes to do my makeup, because I have lash extensions, I'm not gonna focus on my eyes. I'd rather focus on my cheeks, do a little highlighter, bronzer, and blush, and I'll skip the shadow. But if you feel like you'd rather skip that and focus those you know, couple of minutes on your eyes and do like a quick smoky eye or whatever you like, go ahead and do that. Just focus on one area. So I always like to focus on my cheeks. That's the area that I feel like makes the biggest difference and that's just what I like to do. So I just brush out my lash extensions and that's all that I do for eyes. Sometimes I'll do winged liner if it's gonna be like a long day and I'm doing something later at night too, but not every day. Last step is lips. I keep this super simple. I love this balm from Dior. It's called the Color Reviver Balm. First of all, the packaging is so pretty, but I have it in shade 101. It's matte pink. So this is gonna be super hydrating, but it dries matte. So you can still kiss your baby and do all kinds of stuff throughout the day. It's not gonna like smear on everything when you hug someone or whatever. So I really love this balm. It goes on kind of clear and then it turns pink. He's kicking if you can hear him, but we are almost done. Okay, so you guys can see, it will slowly turn darker and darker and you're rolling over, you're rolling over. By the way, get yourself some robes because you will live in them. I pretty much wear a robe all day around the house. Okay, so this is it. I have my little five minute curls in. You can see yourself in the mirror. Yeah. So this is my quick five, 10 minute morning routine when I want to feel put together, feel hot and glam and like I look really cute, but I don't have too much time to get dressed and get ready in the morning because I'm hanging out with him. So I hope you guys like it. I'll link everything down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you can see my next episode. It'll be a fashion one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.